What's up everyone, the Monica Hell Cat here, part 2 of Bonnie of Blood DLC Guns. So this will be part 2, I already made a video earlier today, and this is part 2. I spent the time to click every bounty and de defeat every monster. So this is part 2. Now, to mind you, that these legendaries can be dropped, can be found in random loot spots such as chest and toilets but majority of these weapons can be dropped for monsters challenges and the bounties so let's get into bounties bounty of blood part two of weapons so these are all particularly just the weapons and i also have confirmed weapons as well that was in the part one Starting off with the first weapon, the Miscreant. The Miscreant is a Valdorf pistol and it looks awesome. The Miscreant, mine comes in corrosive. That's 33% weapon fire rate, negative 42% weapon accuracy and consumes two shots. Two consumes two ammo per shot. Now I use this in the Miss Moxie DLC and it's awesome. Let me give you a taste, ladies and gentlemen, of what I mean of awesome. First of all, it has two modes. Two modes. The pistol and the double barrel. The pistol would shoot like this. Reloaded. The double barrel. The double barrel would shoot like this. We'll say it is a good weapon against the Hyperion robots. I don't know if it comes in any other element, but it is a great part two weapon to start off with. Next up, the flipper in the part one is a, a new legendary drop. So that's a confirm right there. Next up, the mother two. The mother two is a TDR. I swear, TDR gets made fun of all the time. But they're coming out with some weird ass weapons. This particular weapon gives you 109% weapon zoom, 21% weapon fire rate, and consumes 2 ammo per shot. 2 ammo per shot. Now, what's cool about this TDR, what's cool about this TDR, this TDR is basically like hey, a laser gun. And when you reload, it shoots up a little tiny ball that does constant fire damage and would ricochet off the walls. Let me give you a close-up shot of this. That's what I'm talking about. That is amazing. That is amazing. I love it. It does great fire damage. And it's awesome. It's awesome. Next up. Not a huge fan of CLV weapons, but I'll put this on the list. The Grawly. The Grawly. Gr uh, Grawly. It's a CLV pistol. This one here does 90% weapon damage, 10% critical hit damage, and consumes 3 ammo per shot, plus a 60% melee damage. And projectiles explode shortly after impact. And it also has unlimited mag. We all know that the heat's up. But how it shoots is weirdly amazing in my opinion. Let me give you a taste of what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. It shoots. It's like a TDR splash damage mixed with a Mali wand. It is, it's a weird shot, but it's actually a pretty cool. It is actually a pretty cool weapon, I will say. The next weapon, the Contained Blast. Now, two torque weapons in this weapon. This is actually two torque weapons in one. This baby, mine gives you 46 weapon damage, uh, plus 100 splash damage radius, and consume two ammo per shot. Now, this assault rifle here acts as like a regular TDR. 
You know how you can swap between impact, impact and splash? Impact and sticky, I meant to say. This one is both. As you can see, when you shoot the shots on the ground, you see those red balls? Those are the stickies. So instead of swapping the sticky, like some of the teeth wars, they would explode. Now, these sticky bombs right here will wait for a good second, but when you reload, they will explode. And it's not the only TDR weapon in the game that can do that, or torque weapon in the game, in the DLC, that can do that. Now, next up, the Dozen Road is actually a new DLC weapon, so I can, can confirm that. Number two, no, just kidding. The next one on the list, my favorite brand of Jacobs, Jacobs Icebreaker. Now this assault rifle blew the other weapon, the clay fence, out of water. The clay fence, the clay fence, I forgot the name of it, was a Jacobs assault rifle from the Love Guns and Tentacles DLC. This one is like shooting a belly buff ice gun. <laughs> Uh, the ice flower, whatever you want to call that thing. It's like shooting uh, Mr. Freeze's gun. This thing right here is anointed. So the anointed effect will give you a action skill, active, deals 75 more weapon damage to badass named and boss enemies. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It gives you 21% 21 weapon fire rate and that's just this one right here but it, I have to show you better I could tell you that this weapon is like shooting your ice flamethrower now that's pretty cool that's actually pretty cool I will say for a purple that is actually pretty cool next up on the list the spade now the spade as I said is just like the contained Basically, this shotgun is nothing, is basically like the contained. Mine is anointed for a siren. But before we get to the anointed, this weapon gives you 15% weapon fire rate, negative 26% weapon accuracy. It gives you a plus 126 splash damage radius. And since it's anointed for a siren after face grabbing, grasping, and enemy weapon accuracy and handling are greatly increased don't know if it's for a short time don't know but as you can see when you shoot it it acts like stickies and when you reload they explode if you don't reload they'll stay there for a good second there's two a good second in five and they will explode by themselves now, let me confirm if that was all for a part two episode. Yeah. Like I said, I gotta say, there's a lot of good weapons in here that I loved in here. Before we go, I'm gonna go over my favorite weapons that you should farm in here. Oh yeah, before we go, there's two more. The Quick Draw. Now, what you know me, love my Jacobs. This particular weapon in particular gives you plus 75 what weapon damage 10% critical hit damage a negative 28% reload speed and 2.x weapon zoom now that's not bad but he, hey the name says it all the name says it all just shoot wood shot that it is go just draw draw not saying it has a fast fire rate, it's got a fast fire rate of 10.25. But it won't beat the fire rate of a Maggie with 11.55. Or its counterpart. It's close to counterpart the Bloom that does 10.50, which is the new weapon. And returning to Borderlands 3 as a new DLC weapon, let me give you say the best for last. The Unkept Herald. Unkept Herald was the Borderlands 2 best weapon to use in Overpowered. That Herald is back. And this one, I wish I had the D double penetrating. 
But this one I have the Packing Gallifying Unkept Herald. The Unkept Herald does plus 40% weapon damage, a plus 22 splash damage radius, and consumes 3 per shot. And we don't know if it shoots 2, 3, 5 shots. But what's funny, cool about this, the red text says, I wasn't counting in a count either. And I love it. It's good to see the weapon back. I don't have to shoot to tell you what the Herald does. If you're new to the series, the Herald is the most overpowered pistol in Mortal Lands 2. In the overpowered levels. You get an overpowered 10, double penetrating, unkept Herald. It was everything you ever needed. And it's the only weapon in Borderlands 2 that can withstand the overpowered levels. Don't worry. I it shoots one, shoots the shots that spread in any air, and it's amazing. It's good to see it returning into Borderlands 3. Now, another weapon that is also can be farmed, the Light Snow. So, I can confirm that you can farm the Light Snow. So, part one video, that is a new weapon in here that can be farmed. Now, the new weapons that I would prefer you to farm... Yeah, it could be on the siren, could be on any of your characters. It's the flipper, the mother two, the complex root, the bloom, and the miscreant, and the light snow. Ooh, out of those weapons have to be my favorite weapons out of the new DLC. Out of my... Out of the new DLC. The most overpowered ones out of here is the flipper and the complex root. These two, the sniper rifle and the SMG from Alley One, telling us that hey, we're we're ready, we're ready to fight. The two multi-elemental weapons can have these both weapons can have two elements on here. It could be fire corrosive. Mine right here for my complex root, fire corrosive. My star flipper, shock and fire. So that means I could take out your shield and then take out your hill. Mm-hmm. So those have to be my preferred overpowered weapons in the game. This is part two of the Bounty of Blood. The Bounty of Blood. Yeah, I see part two weapons. Leave a like, leave a subscribe. And comment below your favorite weapon in these videos or the favorite weapon that you prefer. And leave a comment either in part one or part two. And I'm out of here. This is Demonic Hellcat. Draw.